Hey guys, welcome to another recipe. Today we are making Almond Joy oatmeal. It is a very easy one, very simple, very basic, but it is delicious and I feel like we haven't seen one of these before. Before we get started, be sure to click that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can be part of the fam and be notified whenever I come out with more content and recipes, I guess. So to start off, we're going to start off with some quick oats or rolled oats or old-fashioned oats, some coconut because we're making Almond Joy, and almonds, these were sliced almonds, and some chocolate chips. These ones are semi-sweet. I think they're not vegan, but you know, it's close enough or not. It's, it's, a, veg it's a vegetarian, okay? And maple syrup for sweetener besides the chocolate and this brown sugar. <laughs> it's gonna be very sweet, but it's delicious. So you wanna start off with some water, put it on your stove at high heat and bring it to a boil. Once it's boiling, add in your rolled oats or old fashioned oats. And let those thicken up and soak in all that water. Once you see it thickening up a little bit, you're gonna want to add in your seasoning. My seasoning was the brown sugar and cinnamon. You could even add a touch of salt, which I didn't do, but um, I know salt does help a little bit. Kind of gives it that umami flavor. I don't know if I'm making that up, but kind of. So here's that cinnamon. I love cinnamon and everything. I feel like cinnamon and sweets just kind of gives it that like oomph that you're looking for. Once you're done adding your flavors, just let it simmer for a little bit longer to thicken up and soak in all that flavor. Take that over to your bowl and this is where we're going to top it off with our goodies. So you're going to top it off, spread it out, top it off with some plant-based milk. I used almond milk. My favorite is the Almond Breeze vanilla flavor. So if you haven't tried that, try it. I think it's like drinking 1% regular cow's milk. So when I switched over, it was really easy. And then add your coconut and your almonds and chocolate chips. And the nice thing about this, when you start eating it, like the chocolate chips start melting, so it kind of just kind of gets infused all together. It's so delicious. So yeah, that's the recipe. I hope you guys try it. If you do, let me know down below. Tag me on my social medias. You can find me at Krista NC Barril, B-A-R-R-I-L, if you guys haven't followed me already. I hope you guys like this recipe. Please click that like button and that subscribe button if you guys haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.